This is how cathodic protection works. Here we have four pipes that are all connected together and they are corroding as you can see by the corrosion products and this is a half cell uh, copper copper sulfate half cell connected to this meter showing 0.503 this is a corrosion cell and you can see the corrosion current here which is negative direction 20.68 microamps the corrosion cell is connected to all the pipelines so it's all part of one system there is a transformer rectifier which is connected to the ground the positive charges go into the ground and the negative charges are drawn from this pipe which is connected to all the others so this is all one system and when I switch on the transformer rectifier you will see that this immediately stops corroding and the charges go in the opposite direction when I switch it off you will see that the charges immediately start the corrosion starts again now I will show you that again cathodic protection on and the charges reverse cathodic protection off and the charges continue to corrode. This is a cathodic protection system which is protecting four pipelines with coating faults on them and they are in remote earth. Transformer rectifier is connected to this steel container which is then connected by these loops to this steel container both containers are filled with damp silicon sand and have this conductive cloth over the top of them this represents the ground and the cathodic protection system is not switched on at this time I will now switch this meter on which is a voltmeter and it shows the potential difference between this copper copper sulfate electrode and the pipeline to which the cathodic protection system is connected but not yet switched on this is in remote earth because the pipeline is here and the earth path is over here now this is the off potential or some people might call it the natural potential of this system with the copper copper sulfate electrode in this position with the system off I will now switch the system on and you will see that we have 1.611 volts at this point this means that the potential of the cloth at this point with relation to the potential of all of the pipelines that are connected is 1.529 and it's falling I will switch it back off and then introduce another feature of this system this is the Alexander cell which is a corrosion cell it is connected to this microammeter 
which shows that there is no corrosion current flowing at the present time. This is the anode of the system and has been cleaned and polished and this is the cathode and the corrosion current will flow once there is electrolyte between here and here the corrosion current will flow from the reaction here onto this and you will see that there is a corrosion current which is negative 3, 7 ish micro amps that is the corrosion current caused by this corrosion which is sending the current through here through the meter and back to here and then through the earth if I lift this it proves the earth path because the current stops so the current of this corrosion cell goes through the earth when I connect this to the rest of the system it becomes a coating fault on all of these pipelines with the cathodic protection off so this is the corrosion current flowing from here through the meter through the earth and it's connected to all of the pipeline system and the cathodic protection system is off we will see the effect when I switch the cathodic protection on and the current has reversed so the charges are coming from mass earth into both plates of this corrosion cell but they are so great at this point that they overcome the charges which are coming from the corrosion current they reverse the reading on the meter and they return via this electrolyte which was charged and current traveling in that direction the travel current is now traveling in this direction back to the pipeline due to the cathodic protection system now you will note that this is at 0.954 because the charges in this area have been reduced by the charges going into the bottom plates of this coating fault. When I disconnect this you will see the effect on the meter reading. The meter reading has gone up, that means there is no path for the charges. The corrosion current was reversed and it is now corrosion is happening again because it's not connected to the cathodic protection system I will switch that system off and that is the demonstration of how the Alexander cell works on a system with four pipelines